Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce POS RFID card add-on. Now this particular plugin offers functionality to the customers to make the payments for their items purchased at POS using their RFID cards. The customers will have to tap the card on the RFID card reader device to make the payment. POS agents can add or update the credit points to the RFID card. The POS agents can search for customers by using their RFID card and can even register or check the amount of their card as required. So all in all, this particular plugin helps the customers to pay using their RFID cards at the POS counter. POS agents can add or update the cards. POS sale agents can even check the balance of the card. The store admin on the other hand can add or update the RFIDs as required. POS agents can search for customers using their RFID cards there. So in today's video tutorial what we'll be doing is we'll be checking the backend configuration for the particular plugin itself and we'll see how the admin would be able to add the RFID for a customer and along with uh, setting up the points to credit to the RFID card there and we'll also be seeing how the admin would be able to update the RFID card number for a particular customer. Apart from that on the POS terminal and we'll see how the POS agents can search a customer using the RFID card, how the POS agents can update an RFID card for a customer and how to view the RFID card balance there and how to add a new RFID card to a customer. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So first of all, let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see the configuration settings for this particular plugin. So I'll be logging into the backend panel here for the WooCommerce web store by entering the username, password and tapping on the login button thereafter. To know more about the working of this uh, particular plugin, you can check the other video that I have attached within the, within the description for this particular video itself. So here what you need to do is you need to navigate to WooCommerce and then settings. So after you have successfully installed this particular plugin that's the WooCommerce POS RFID card add-on, you need to navigate to WooCommerce then settings and here you need to go to the payment section or the payments tab. Here you will find the POS RFID reader gateway being installed. So you can enable it up and from here you can manage the same. To manage it, manage the configuration settings for this uh, particular plugin, you will have to tap here on the manage button that you have on the top right hand corner there. And here you will find the POS RFID reader gateway and from here you can set up the configuration settings. So the very first option that we have here is the default gateway. So if you check this option here, then uh, the POS RFID reader would be the default payment gateway for your payment via the point of sale system. So you can make the default gateway as the POS RFID reader by checking this option here. Then you have the description. Now this controls the description which the user sees during the checkout there. So you can set it up as per your own requirement there. And then we have the default amount. So here you can set the default amount here and on the registration of every new customer this amount would be added in the customer account or their RFID cards. So whatever amount that you have entered here, whenever you are assigning a particular RFID to a particular customer, this default amount would be assigned to that particular customer at the time of assignment of the RFID card to that respective customer there. So these are the basic configuration settings here that you need to make for the POS RFID RFID reader gateway there and then you need to tap here on the save changes button to save the configuration changes. Now let's see how the admin would be able to add the RFID for a customer and along with that how he will be able to set up the points to credit to the RFID there. For that the, the admin needs to navigate to users and all users. This would display the complete list of users. Here uh, the admin needs to go to the customers. So here you can see that hey we have two customers for the uh, there. So from here you can see that we have add RFID option and update RFID option. So to add an RFID for a particular customer like Peter Doe here, what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add RFID, then tap here on the RFID section, and now you have to 
tap the RFID manually onto the RFID reader there and the particular RFID would be automatically entered here within this particular section and here you can see that the points to create to create to, to be created into the RFID are 7000 the default one that we had set up under the payment section configuration for the particular plugin itself so you can edit the amount as well as per your own requirement you can set it uh, or whatever you want you can set it up as per your own requirement there and you can set it as per the requirement there so what you need to do is to add an RFID uh, to a particular customer just tap here on the add RFID now tap here and now after that you have to tap the particular physical RFID card on the RF card ID card reader there as soon as you tap on the RF card ID reader there the particular RFID card number would be entered here automatically and then you can assign the points to that particular RFID card and then you need to tap here on the save button thereafter now let's see how the admin would be able to update the RFID card for a particular customer so here we have the update RFID option for a particular customer to whom we have already assigned the RFID card so if I tap here on the update RFID card you can see that the RFID number is visible and the remaining uh, points uh, that are within the RFID card are also visible there if you want you can also edit the amount and change the amount that's there within the particular RFID card or if you want to assign another RFID uh, card to this particular customer then you need to remove this particular RFID number and now uh, you need to take another new RFID card and tap that on the RFID card reader and the particular new RFID would be entered here and then you can tap here on the save button to save the particular changes so this was the workflow at the admin's end as I've already told you, you can check the other video for the complete working of this uh, particular plugin at the POS terminal end uh, by checking the particular video that I've attached within the description of this particular video as well. So now let's hop on to the POS terminal end and let's see how the POS agents can search a customer using the RFID cards. So after you've successfully logged into the POS terminal as I've already logged in here, what you need to do is you need to go to the customer section and here you have the search icon as you can see so here you can search the customers by name email and RFID card number so what you need to do is you need to tap here and after tapping here you need to tap the particular RFID card on the RFID card reader and that would automatically search the customer and that customer would be popped up here within this particular section now let's see how the POS agents can update an RFID card for a customer and how to give the RFID card balance so for example if I go with the Chris customer here, you can see that here we have the RFID uh, being, uh, that has been assigned to this particular customer and the particular balance that is left over within that RFID card. Now if I, want, if I want to update the RFID, I can tap here on the update RFID, I can clear this out and I can take another new RFID card and I can tap that up on the RFID card reader and as soon as I tap on the RFID card reader, that particular ID would be fetched and would be entered here automatically and then we need to tap here on the save button to assign the new RFID to this particular customer as for the requirement there. Now let's see how to add a new RFID card to a customer. So for example, here we have the default customer. So to add a new RFID to this customer, you can see that we have the add RFID button here. So what I need to do is I need to tap here on the add RFID, tap here, tap the particular new RFID uh, card on the RFID card reader. As soon as I tap on the RFID card reader, that particular ID would be entered here. And then I need to tap here on the save button to save the ID uh, or the RFID to this particular customer there. So that was how we can add a new RFID card to a customer as well from the POS terminal itself. So yes, that was much about this uh, particular plugin. That's the WooCommerce POS RFID card add-on and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow there. For more details on the working of this particular plugin, I have attached uh, the particular video in the description of this video itself. So you can go through that to with the complete working of this uh, RFID card reader and how the customers can make the payment using the RFID card on the POS terminal there itself. 
so that was much about the video there and uh, if you find this particular video helpful then you can give it a thumbs up and if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements regarding this particular plugin then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead